a grim new record in the U.S. Authorities reported a record of around 90,000 new cases of the coronavirus on Thursday, with hospitalizations also on the rise in many states. Public health experts warn the situation may get even worse. Um, we are having some of the largest outbreaks that we've had during the entire pandemic. Uh, and nine, ten months into this pandemic, we are still largely not quite prepared. Uh, we don't have kind of testing that we need. Uh, there are a lot of problems with large outbreaks happening in many, many different parts of the country. And of course, we're going into the fall and winter, which will, of course, make things very, very difficult. The surge all but spans the country, with 12 states setting daily records for new cases Thursday. The group includes Midwestern states like Illinois and Michigan, but also Maine, New Mexico, North Carolina and Oregon. As the White House Coronavirus Task Force warns of an unrelenting spread across the country, states are taking action, like here in Wisconsin, where authorities have opened scores of new testing sites. In New Mexico, officials have urged residents to follow safety guidelines, hoping to prevent hospitals from becoming overwhelmed. Again, that this hospital volume is really significantly going up. We've already tripled hospital uh, patient volume in less than a month. And uh, it continues, and it's higher than that. Just days before the presidential election, Democratic challenger Joe Biden's call for a national mask mandate has gained traction. With the country's top infectious disease specialist, Anthony Fauci, saying he backed the idea this week, though it would almost certainly come with significant legal hurdles. President Donald Trump, for his part, has not endorsed the call. You see people?